Welcome to the Federated States of Micronesia Opioid Prevention and Response Curriculum, a train-the-trainer video series created for healthcare professionals prescribing opioids for chronic pain. My name is Tupua, and I will be your guide through the prescriber-facilitated train-the-trainer curriculum today. You are taking this training today because you treat and prescribe medicine for chronic pain. As a healthcare professional, you are in a critical role to educate patients about opioid misuse and long-term pain management. And we know that timely education and proper training are essential when treating persistent, long-standing pain and opioids. By volunteering as a training facilitator, you will be receiving and sharing best practices in chronic pain management and treatment and engaging in robust clinical discussions. For reference, this Train the Trainer curriculum includes recommendations and best practices for healthcare professionals to facilitate clinical treatment and step therapies for patients seeking chronic pain management. ASTHO developed the Opioid Prevention and Overdose Response Curricula, a series of Train the Trainer videos and additional resources specifically for FSM in partnership with the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and base the curricula on the CDC guideline for prescribing opioids for chronic pain. We understand the difficulty in breaking away from the patient room, so thank you for being here today. As training facilitators, your role is essential to reversing negative trends in opioid misuse in the communities you live in and serve. So your participation today gives FSM the tools to prevent future opioid addiction and overdose. For some of you, the information presented will be new. For others, it will serve as a good refresher course. Regardless of the medical background, setting, or specialty, the training will inform and educate medical prescribers in opioid prevention, overdose response, and chronic pain treatment. This video provides an overview of the CDC recommended training Emphasizing the curriculum's first four pages, we will review terminology important for the trainer, the rationale of CDC's guideline, group activities, group size, and timing. We will also review the learning objectives, training materials, curriculum handouts, and resources, and where and how to access materials. The overall goal is for you to walk away with a firm understanding of CDC's guideline for prescribing opioids for chronic pain. Moving forward, we will refer to this simply as the guideline. Participants taking the prescribing opioids for chronic pain training include primary healthcare providers, physicians in various subspecialties, nurse practitioners, clinical staff, and ambulatory emergency responders. All training participants should walk away meeting specified knowledge and practice objectives after completing the training. The knowledge objectives include explaining the purpose of the guideline, having a firm understanding of it, describing the three pillars of the guideline, key recommendations, and the benefits of utilizing the suggestions in a practice setting. We also expect participants to leave with the ability to explain at least one evidence-based non-opioid therapy for chronic pain, an understanding of how to calculate dosing in morphine milligram equivalent, or MME, for various opioids agents, recognition of opioid misuse risk factors, and the identification of signs and symptoms of opioid addiction and abuse. Your role as training facilitator requires you to meet three learning objectives. These include applying practices and delivering this training, having proven facilitative skills to promote adult learning, critical thinking developing new skills, and demonstrating mastery in delivering and or incorporating training scripts, prompts, and notes. I'd now like to take you through the three pillars that make up the foundation of the guideline. Pillar one is determining when to initiate or continue opioids for chronic pain. Pillar two is opioid selection, dosage, duration, follow-up, and discontinuation. And pillar three assesses risk and addresses harms of opioid use. Most of the time spent taking and conducting the CDC guideline training will be going through these three pillars of establishing active engagement from participants in small group activities or discussions, approximately 50 minutes. As for prescribing opioids for chronic pain training, it will take approximately 60 minutes, give or take, to lead your peers through the curriculum. The curriculum itself consists of three sections, the introduction and the rationale for training, an overview of the three pillars, and training wrap-up. From optimal learning experience, training sessions should not exceed 30 participants, and no more than five participants for each breakout group discussion or activity. As a trainer, you will lead and participate in several small group activities throughout the training. 
While the curriculum allots specific times for each small group activity, keep in mind that it is a guide. We suggest keeping to the allotted time for small group sessions, but we understand it will vary depending on participant engagement. Having group discussions with other medical prescribers will provide the opportunity to engage in a robust conversation by bringing patient room scenarios into small breakout group learning setting. In preparing for leading a training session, we recommend reading the guideline and the curriculum in advance. Watch all supplemental trainer trainer videos, preferably in order, and become well versed in all training content, materials, and additional resources before leading a training session. To conduct training, ASTHO has supplied specific materials, handouts, and resources. The ASTHO toolkit contains supplies, materials, clinical tools, and documents to help you understand how to present this training and direct training activities. To review the full list of materials, handouts, and other resources, refer to page one of the Train the Trainer curriculum. The ASTHO training toolkit is available on a flash drive with all printed materials, slide decks, and videos for easy access. There are some items that you must supply yourself and bring with you or at least have access to as a training facilitator. These items include a flip chart or any writing board type. An example could be a whiteboard and chalkboard. Additionally, plan to bring writing supplies such as markers, pens, or chalk to track group conversations. Be sure to bring a TV or a viewing screen to watch the supplemental training videos. A computer with internet access is optional. When conducting a training as a facilitator, there are three definitions to be aware of in the Train the Trainer curriculum. You will see them throughout the curriculum. The first definition is the trainer script. The trainer script is written text or video narration that appears most often at the beginning of a new section. It informs participants about the significance of the subject discussed within the greater scope of the curriculum. When you see the script, speak the words exactly as you see them written. The second definition is the trainer prompt. The trainer prompt will guide you in completing an action. And finally, the trainer note. The trainer note provides facts or topics to help you better understand the concepts you are instructing. As a trainer, you can decide whether to use or highlight the additional information to advance learning. There will be times during the training where you, as the trainer, will need to stop the video either to pause for a demonstration or a group activity. When you see pause for a demonstration or pause video for an activity appear on the screen, you will need to stop to dive deeper into the idea and conduct the activity or demonstrate as per the text written in your manual. We have thoroughly reviewed the curriculum, how best to use it, the learning objectives, and the materials needed to conduct the training, and what to expect when leading participants through the content. Remember, the curricula created by ASTHO for FSM is a reference for you, the trainer, to refer to throughout your continuing education. In the following video, you will learn the step-by-step -step approach to facilitating a group activity.